We're looking for kids that have a passion for the environment. They, they do well in school, they're involved in a lot of other activities, but they really want to make a difference and get some hands-on experience in the environment. So that's what we provide. We were founded in 2001 with the help of the Florida Wildlife Commission and Gulfstream Natural Gas Systems. We are involved in underwater research dives monthly and in volunteer work, including annual marine quests. The Scuba Scouts are also involved in national fish and coral counts, along with numerous other research dives. Hi, my name is Andrew Olson, and I am the project leader of the Scuba Scouts. To prepare for scientific diving, the Scuba Scouts engage in several classroom sessions in advanced scuba training. Each year, we qualify in advanced scuba, scuba life-saving and accident management, search and recovery, nitrox diving, and underwater data collection methods. Right now, you're looking at America's next generation of explorers, the Scubanauts, a group of 12 to 18 year olds who have a passion for marine science and a need for adventure. It's fantastic. You, we get these kids and they're enthusiastic to begin with, but we're able to teach them incredible marine science survey techniques that are used worldwide. Basically, what we did was we would take coral fragments and we tie wire onto the corals and then string them from these pipe uh, trees, and that way they would grow easier. I've been diving here with Mo and the Combat Wounded Vets for four, and I have to say the camaraderie is probably what I got out of it the most on these trips. I mean, just bonding with the Combat Wounded Vets and getting closer to your knots, it's just an amazing experience. You just, you feel like, I know this might sound cliche, but you feel like family. Each and every one of you today that is going out there planting coral is a volunteer citizen scientist at Moat Marine Laboratory. You are helping us not just restore the coral reefs, but you're helping us gather data. You're helping us conduct the science that is absolutely essential to restore these coral reefs. What we're talking about is a partnership that is going to change the reefs here forever, for the better. Jessica Silk loves looking at all the fish when she's underwater, but she says that isn't even the best part. Coolest thing would be able to connect with other kids who are wanting to do the exact same thing that you do. You want to learn, you want to do science, and at the same time just be able to have amazing experiences. And while science is the main focus of this unique group, these kids are gaining much more from it. I'm not expecting each and every one of them to become scientists, but the general skills that they're learning are going to assist them throughout their lives. They're learning to become good leaders. We went to Washington, D.C. to talk to Congress people about what they're doing to help the ocean and the environment. And we also went to see a panel with questions about the ocean. These are no ordinary kids. They are the next generation, and they're learning to appreciate what's right off our coast. With these kids in the lead, the future of our environment is in good hands.